Evolution X 7.6.2 is just released for Redmi Note 8 which has Android security update of February 5, 2023 and is based on latest Android 13. This Evolution X 7.6.2 has inbuilt Quicksilver kernel used and if you look at the build number, it is of February 25, 2023 which is the most recent update. Nowadays Evolution X is rolling out lots of new updates for its 7.6 version. Just about 2 weeks ago, it has released released its 7.6.1 update and in just after two weeks it has given us a new update which is evolution x 7.6.2 and i'll also compare and show the difference between the latest and previous version as well i have installed this room on my redmi note 8 and in this video i am going to show its new features change logs improvements antutu benchmark scores geek pins 5 and 6 scores cpu throttling test results safety net status and many more of this evolution x 7.6.2 so let's get started change logs first of all i'll show the change logs of this evolution x 7.6.2 room and you can see this device change log on the screen it has fixed the issue with screencast and also fixed issue with mi cam ultra wide that some people were facing it has bring back parallel space and custom qs panel that were removed in its previous build and many other change logs that you can see on the screen camera in its previous build it has both mi camera and aperture camera but in this latest build it has removed aperture camera and only mi camera is available and it has fixed ultra wide mode in this build that some people were facing problem in its previous version and now this mi camera is working perfectly with all of its features like slow mo portrait 48 megapixel camera etc and if you look at the history of camera available in Evolution X ROM, it has provided both MI and Aperture camera on its 7.4 version. And in 7.5 version, it has Gcam Go available. And in 7.6.1, it has both MI and Aperture camera present. And now in its 7.6.2 version, it comes with MI Cam only. Antutu Benchmark Score now let's see the benchmark scores of this room and i'll start with antutu benchmark and i had already run the test and you can see the antutu benchmark score on this screen which is 204328 and if we compare this score with its previous build in evolution x 7.5 the antutu score was 202950 so in terms of score i think it has some better results geek pins 5 after Antutu, I'll show you the score of Geekbench 5 test and as you can see the score for single core is 297 and score for multi core is 1254 and in its previous build 7.5 it has given the single core score of 294 and multi core score of 1192 and this version has slightly improved its scores. Geekbench 6. Geekbench 6 had just released in this February and I had already run the test on this Evolution Axe. For single core, the score is 319 and for multi core, the score is 1171. Safety net status. After Geekbench results, let's see whether its safety net is passed or not. And as you can see, it has passed the safety net compatibility test. And also, I'll show the Play Protect certification level. And as you can see, in the Play Protect certification device is certified written. CPU throttling test. Right after safety net status, I'll show you the result of CPU throttling test. I had run this test for 5 minutes and you can see the results on the screen as no CPU thermal throttling was detected after the test conducted for 5 minutes. And in previous build 2, we have got the same results. Wallpapers and styles. Inside its wallpaper and style, there is a feature that is missing and was present on its previous build, which is custom themed icons. And yes, this option is removed in this version of Evolution X ROM, but despite that, you will get all the features like wallpaper colors, basic colors, dark theme, themed icon, app grid, system icon packs, and system fonts features. Launcher. Talking about launcher, it comes with Evolution X launcher and from its recent app section, you can find Force Close app, Split Top, 
uninstall and freeform features. And if you look down, there are three different quick actions available including lens options, but you can now even add two more features in it from its recent settings and they are pin app and kill app feature. And from its miscellaneous, you can enable parallel space, use taskbar and get hidden and protected apps feature. Quick setting. And this is how quick setting panels look like, which have some new additional tiles like Dolby Atmos, Sleep Mode, Portrait Screenshot, Heads Up, Extra Dim and many more. And you can take partial screenshot just by long pressing on this screenshot tile. Settings. Now let's explore what's inside its settings section. Custom Private TNS. Like in its previous version, this version of Evolution X also comes with lots of private TNS features. Battery. In its battery setting, you will get the same features like its previous build. You will be able to use pixel battery user start and can also enable extreme battery saver from its battery saver option. And this version also comes with battery overlays like designed capacity, current capacity, charge cycles and temperature which was included from its previous build. Display. In its display setting, you will get adaptive brightness, extra dim and dark theme option and this dark theme includes 6 different custom dark themes in it. Security And talking about security, you will get both fingerprint and face unlock feature and ROM is encrypted as well. The Evolver And you will also get its The Evolver section from where you can do lots of customizations in themes, status bar, notification, quick settings, power menu, gestures, buttons, lock screens, animations and miscellaneous. And from miscellaneous you can enable game space feature and not only game space you will also be getting unlimited photo storage on Google Photos app. Unlock higher FPS in games and Netflix spoof. There are plenty of customizations available in this Evolution X ROM which I have already showcased in my previous videos. So I don't want to make you feel bored by showing same things again and again. So I only highlighted the major changes and customization features. So this is all about the latest Evolution X 7.6.2. What do you think about this room? You can share your thoughts and experience related to this room on comment section below. And if you have any suggestions or problem, feel free to share with us. And if you have any suggestions or problem, feel free to share with us. And if you like this video, then don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, share this video and subscribe to Crack Soid YouTube channel. Also hit the notification bell. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.